What's up, everybody? Dr. Peeps here. We are here in Restless Shore near the fort. Fort. Solitude? Is it just called? Oh, it's just called Solitude. I always wanted to call it Fort Solitude, but no. It's the bastion of Restless Shore, and I'll show you one of the best ways to make money. It is bananas. Only a few places that they grow, especially a few places that aren't like top level maps. Like Ebon Skull has them. Um, I think there's a couple areas over here in Monarchs that has them as well. Cutlass and Elysian Wilds has them, but you know. Those are high levels and rig water and like I said, I think over here in Monarchs there's a few if I'm remembering correctly, but hey my brain is very ADHD so who knows I may not be uh, but let's get to doing it anyway you just look for your tree they're very easy to spot they say banana trees and then you just go to town luckily right now Greenwood's I think it was about 50 cents and of course I will hammer this home as many times as I need to. If you do a lot of gathering, when you have the gold, or when your engineering's high enough, whichever one, upgrade your tools to where they get moats ASAP. They will quickly pay for themselves. Me personally, I have depth and fire moats on my tools because you need depth and fire quintessence to get the strongest honing stones and when it comes to doing high level mutes or if you're going to do a bunch of OPRs or open world PvP, having that extra damage off honing stones are very, very nice. But uh, I'm wondering if there's any bananas in these trees. Oh, no, there's been 11 bananas in the trees. I've just been talking. Good. I think bananas is currently around like 350, somewhere in there just enough so you can give them to the Loch Ness Monster. Give me some berries while I'm out here too. Well, I don't know. I just like berries, I guess. Let's see. I did not find one thing on the way over here. I'll show you the area I took. I went from the Shadow Shred Shrine all the way down to where you see that you can bypass this pirate ship. And then in this area, like I said, there's nothing. So you don't even have to worry about getting interrupted or any of that. So you just get to farm and farm and farm. Did not mean to pick that bush. There's a few other things around here too. Like you can see there's some hemp over there. I think there's like an ironwood tree over there. But we aren't here for those, we are here for the bananas. Looks like I got a friend. Is he going to the fort? No, he's going for ban my bananas. No, they're mine. Let's 
Yep, there's an armwood tree over there. Icon's gonna go away. Yeah, there's some green wood going. Nine hundred for four hundred and seventy seven gold. Nice, nice, nice. So not only are the bananas gonna be selling, so is the green wood. I think I said ironwood before, but no. Greenwood, which is just a byproduct of doing this. So that was a free 900 gold. Because this is totally the first time I have tried to make this video. I promise. I have all of that stuck on my screen because, yeah, New World. It is for just a little bit longer and then we'll go list everything, which is weird to see <laughs> the green would sell quicker than the bananas but hey I am not going to complain about basically the free gold that comes along with the bananas Finish this little trio here. Go list our stuff and then see there's some moat stuff. Like I said, there was some ironwood. There's more stuff. Usually if I'm in an area there's more than one. There's fire moats going to. Right now the economy, I love this economy. This is the economy that made me fall in love with actually doing videos on the economy in this game. The economy that came after Elysian Walls, oh god. Made me want to put my head through a wall. <laughs> then as before, but we'll probably mention it in more videos. Why do I go to Reekwater? Well, I have Reekwater set up as my town that when you pick the perks as you level up through the towns as the one that I have picked that has the fees for selling at the least. Buying, selling, trading post fees, those, yep, 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 yep. Oh boy. Really, 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 our way to the trading post. Alright, where is our potassium? We have bananas. Now, 310 seems fun because you know that's how you get to Yuma. So you get the 310 to Yuma and so that's about 120 ish gold just from. Uh, maybe not the best, but definitely not the worst. Let's see. Now then we can add in our death moots. And a buck 90. That's kind of getting very high. I think I would have put that one. Fibers? Did we get fibers? Yes, we did get fibers there. So, forty-seven cents. 
That's a lot of 47, so we'll just put it at 46. Don't want to pop those numbers. Damn. But we'll take it, and I left one out because it's just one of those days. See, green went 1575. Why is green 56? That means 55 because those numbers, I just don't want to compete with them. We did get some hits up to about six. These prices are glorious. I don't think I got the lock moves. I think that's going to be about it. So, through the power of potassium, we will have made some pretty decent gold. Anyway, this has been Dr. Peebs and the power of potassium. How to make some decent gold in the new world. I'll continue to do these and then probably start back with one of my favorite series on how not to be broke in the new world because right now the economy is glorious. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day and I will catch you all next time. Peace.